What's up, Defects? It's Matt Forge. The Butcher and myself were about to take you on a little hunt with us down to the Bronx, the Boogie Down, a uh, little uh, sidewalk sale. But before we get into the footage of that, I uh, just want to remind you guys, if you could please, please, please like this video if you think we did a good job, sub up to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment section. You know, we love chopping it up with you guys. Guys, those things really help the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it'll help us grow this channel, bring you better content, and just continue to do what we're doing. So if you want that, you like that, please help us out by uh, hitting those uh, hitting those buttons that I said before. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the hunt. What is up defects the butcher 105 with pressable defects going on a hunt with my man maddie forge and boy do we have a good one for you today we're in the car headed down to the sidewalk sale crosby avenue get that guy we got bases loaded sports bar got the l right here Trying to get them as a sponsor, A to Z Grocery and Deli. One for five, two for eight. Yep, they said no. Got the first appearance of Silver Sable. Sil Silver Sable, maybe. Jay being a good Samaritan. See, guys, he's not that bad. Down at that BX flea market sidewalk sale. This little special pull box on the side right here. Whew. That's some sick shit. My man was waiting for you with this box. You know that, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you as usual, bro. See you next weekend. <laughs> Have a great one. Damn, dude. Uh, yeah, right? Fire. Oh, that first print? I think it is, right? First print. Yep. First Medusa, right? Dope Craven cover. Yo, Dave in the cave would have, would have been going in on this box. <laughs> Welcome to the Bronx. <laughs> Tuck your money in your sock. Here oh, we go. Man. We got Matt Forge. What's he digging for? Come on, Justin. Tell me what I missed here. I know you're going to... Gonna knock us. You, know, you know he's going to knock us out to be like, yo, you, where's that flea market? I got to go down there and pick up everything you missed. Oh, you guys will know soon enough. <laughs> My man, Roger, it's just for you. Somebody else shares your opinion. Third appearance of Punisher. Second, third, Roger. What's up, guys? We're down here with Anthony at 1322 Crosby. He has yeah, an buddy. awesome, awesome comic collection for sale out here every Saturday from 10 to 2 guys and tell me how you got into doing this. Well I'll tell you back in the early to mid 70s I remember I was about six years old I walk into a candy store I see the Silver Surfer magazine it was 25 cents and I'm like mom can I get a quarter? She was like yeah go ahead go ahead I picked it up and from that point on never looked back so 40 plus years 
I've been buying, selling, trading, just enjoying living the life and having so much fun with it that I want to pass it on to the community. I have a good job. I do something else for a living. This I do for fun because I want you guys to be able to get books that you normally can't afford at affordable prices. So I do the hunting and you guys reap the benefits. And I love it. I love it. So what made you start doing this out in front of your house? Funny thing, about four years ago, I had a Coca-Cola collection that rivaled most owners of companies. I had so many doubles. My, my girlfriend said, listen, why don't you sell a few? Brought them out, sold a few. People said, ah, do you have some comics? Brought a couple of those out. Then more people said, do you have comics? Yeah. Comics, comics. <laughs> do you want to buy some? I'm like, all right, yeah. I have some. So it kind of like went back and forth. And then one weekend, we went up to Connecticut and a friend of mine said, hey, there's some comics over here. I bought 75 long boxes. Oof. Never went back from there. And I paid 200 bucks. Oh, <laughs> damn. So, yeah, I was like, wow. Talk I, about I just, jumping right in, right? Yeah, I literally said, woo. I had, you know, mini series Wolverine, the full four, uh, ongoing series one through 50. And I was like, wow. So, flip those. Now, I go all the way down to the Carolinas and I go all the way up to Maine. And I buy, trade, and just have fun with it, man. It's like, and then with all you guys in the community, it makes me even more want to do it so i just i don't know i just love it so how long you been out here doing it this four years four years i've been doing it four years uh i usually go all the way to like november as long as the weather stays above 40 because of the humidity and under 95 ish because of the humidity yep. these are my babies so i got to keep them safe and sound oh, yeah. and not wet <laughs> and, and guys you got to see the books he has he has modern everything's in great condition Thanks. such a good dude he always has cool people here working with him um, that's it, and anything else you want to talk about? Uh, come down here, mention that you saw it on this video, and I'll give you an extra 20% off. Besides the crazy price I'm going to give you guys, just say you heard it here, my voice, and yo, I'm telling you, you won't be, you won't be disappointed. You will not. You yeah. heard it, guys. Ask for that pressable defects discount. Oh, my yeah. man Ant's going to hook you up. We'll catch you next show, show you what we got, and make sure you come down 1322 Crosby in the Bronx, guys. Good pizza, better comics. What is up guys back from the Bronx what a great day what a great comic book experience it was be outside digging through long boxes in the Bronx with Anthony and Rob two great guys 1322 Crosby Avenue guys tell them Pressable Defects sent you I promise you you will get that discount so let's go let's go over what we got I grabbed the Thanos 15 variant cover you guys know I'm a big Punisher guy. You know, Cosmic Ghost Rider is an extension of the Punisher. So I thought this was a pretty cool variant. Hadn't seen it before. So had to pick it up. A Dano 17. Awesome cover. Death of the Silver Surfer in there. This Dano storyline with Cosmic Ghost Rider was great, guys. I suggest you pick it up and read it if you haven't already. Grab the Venom First host number four. Um, I said it in previous videos. I like Sleeper. He's a cool character in this Kate's run. I've been grabbing all his cover appearances and trying to, you know, pick up whatever I can from this character. So happy to have this. Here's a Venom for First Host number five. Awesome variant cover. Um, I always look for this book. I don't find it. Sometimes I find it in ain't the best condition, but happy to have that. That's a dope cover. So that's staying in the PC. I got a Venom 18 Immortal Hulk variant. Another nice Venom variant. Glad I found that. Found these next two books. King Thor number three. Awesome Gore the God Butcher cover. Um, it's the return of the God Butcher. He should be coming to MCU soon. We'll see what happens with him, but he's just an awesome character. Um, grab two of those. I'm going to gift one of these to my buddy Joe. So that's for you, buddy. Grab the Thor number one variant. Awesome Thor cover. Couldn't pass up the price. Loving this run as well. Um, Kate's is absolutely killing it. And the last book I grabbed was The New Agents of Atlas number one. Nice spec book right here. Disney Plus should be doing something with, you know, these guys. I grabbed it. Matt Forge is like, you know, great book to grab. So I grabbed it. And that's it. I'm going to pass the reins over to my man, Matty Forge. Take it away. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, so you guys just saw what Jay had. Um, he had a couple nice books there. Um, and, and you guys saw the footage 
of uh, our buddy, our new friend Anthony down there in the Bronx. He's got a good little sidewalk sale that you guys definitely want to check out. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you quickly uh, the books that I grabbed. All right. So, and just a reminder, I spent about 60 bucks on all of this. All right. So I, I think I did pretty well. I wasn't, uh, I didn't steal, you know, I wasn't like a super steal, but I think I did pretty well because a couple of these books I really wanted. All right. Start off nice and easy. We got Mark number one from Image. Just a number one issue, premiere issue. Uh, there was a little bit of, you know, all these image and, and indie series that talk about, you know, making a little series or getting adapted. So why not? A couple bucks, I grabbed it. All right, this is a book that I think I have in a slab at a 9.8 because I got it for like 30 bucks. But I figured why not have a raw copy? Uh, Master of Kung Fu, number 37. Uh, it's probably like a 6.0 six to 7.0. Decent copy. First Dark Strider, all right? I've been trying to grab up all the little keys in this Master of Kung Fu run because I think there's a lot of them are going to be utilized in, in the MCU. Like Jay showed you, I got uh, King Thor number three, Court of God Butcher, near mint copy. A couple bucks, why not? This book I was pumped about until I got it home, Okay. This is, uh, you guys have seen some of my other videos, it's Captain America, you know, I've been collecting up his silver and, and early bronze stuff. Uh, Cap 179, uh, it's in pretty good condition, except for the fact that the Marvel value, value stamp was cut out. So it's actually the first time I've ever been burned on that, so I knew it was going to happen eventually, uh, and there you go. So it's a little like, a uh, little trophy for me, my first missing MVS book, all right, so I'll, this one is probably never going to leave the PC uh, just a little little reminder that, you know, it's just a matter of, uh, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, if you collect silver and bronze, uh, I guess bronze age, that you're going to be missing an MVS in one of your books. So another cap, uh, early, early bronze also, cap 163. This is the first Serpent Squad, and uh, it's got some pressable defects in the cover. So this could, this could go anywhere from like a 5.5 five to a 7.0, depending on that press, but Presents really well. I'm, I'm sure on the camera it looks beautiful, but you know if you look at it close, there's some pressable things in there. So really happy to have that. A couple bucks as well. Been picking up these Iron Man. Uh, I'm sorry, Power Man and Iron Fist books. Not a key here, but just cool red cover. I like the cover, and it's super high grade. Probably like an eight five once it gets pressed out. So I figure why not? I think that you're going to see this team up in the MCU at some, some point. Power Man and Iron Fist. I know we saw them separately and, and as the Defenders in Netflix, but I think they're going to make a show or a series or a movie around the, the heroes for hire, the Power Man and Iron Fist. A uh, book that I probably grabbed a little too fast, uh, Marvel Spotlight 13. I thought it was in a little bit better condition. It's probably like a 4.5 to a 5.5. Five. Um, but with the Hellstrom series, you know, coming out, this got a ton of, you know, this is Origin of Son and Satan, Second Sa Satana. First, Marmaduke, which I guess is uh, Satan in human form. And first, Victoria Hellstrom, which is, I guess, Damien Hellstrom's mother, I think. Um, you know, I, I probably paid a couple bucks more than I should have on that on this book, but still happy to have it because I think this this book's only going to go higher, you know. But I, I really don't think I, if I ever pay it, I overpaid by like three or four dollars. So I'm not, I'm not too upset. So it's been a book that I've been trying to get hunt down and I keep missing in it. So when I had it in my hands, I just said, I got to do it. This is a book that um, I'm really happy I picked up. This is probably one of the better pickups. Probably it's it's either first or second uh, best pickup out, out of this lot. It's a book I had in a lower grade, Marvel Chillers, uh, featuring more uh, more Mordred the Mystic number one. Um, this is a high grade. This is like an 8.0. Uh, this is first Mordred the, Myst the 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 Mystic, and there I think it's I don't know if it's confirmed or rumor, but this character appears in the WandaVision series. So this book has seen some price hikes in the past couple of weeks, I would say. Um, so happy to grab this for under 10 bucks. I think I, six bucks, I think this was. So definitely did good on this one because on eBay, I think these are going for like 30 or 40 at this point in this grade. So happy to have that. Uh, like I said, I had a previous copy, but it was probably a mid grader. So another book I was really happy to grab because I'm trying to get all Silver Age Submariner books um, his, his, that silver age run, which I think goes from one to 19 or 20 and I'm getting pretty close, uh, 17, not a key, but just a really cool cover. Some of the best covers, um, in the silver age or in this Submariner run, in my opinion, the colors are fantastic. And this is a mid grade prevents presents really nice, 
but you could tell it was a, a subscription book because it has the crease, but it's not color breaking, which is interesting. Uh, in like a couple small spots, it breaks color, but it will press out. So, I mean, this could go up to like a 7.0 maybe. It's got a little bit of rub, but really depends on the press. But I would say conservatively 5.5 to a 6.0, but happy to have another one in the run for that Silver, Silver Age Submariner uh, run that I'm putting together. Uh, the last two books are Star Wars books, guys. You guys know from one of my last videos, I've gone down the rabbit hole. Okay, so shout out to my boys, Sith Lordly and Nemesis Prime, of course, the Star Wars gurus. Uh, I just try to follow in their footsteps, but I don't know. <laughs> so first one up, Darth Vader 22. Uh, this is a Marvel Darth Vader. Um, this, I know, uh, has a couple first appearances in it. Um, not as good quality as I thought I was when I first picked it up. It's got some stuff going on in the back, so maybe a VF, VF Plus probably. Um, first Lord Momin and First Lady Sha. So I know this book is, is heating up a little bit. Um, you know, it, it goes for, you know, you know, 10 or 15 bucks. So for a few bucks, I like literally two or three dollars. I was really happy. And this uh, is, I want to say the, I said there was that other book was one or one a, you know, this is the other book. And this is a uh, rogue star Wars story. Number one, that adaptation. But the big thing about this book is number one, it's really high grade near mint or better. And this is the first uh, Cassian Andor. And literally yesterday I saw some news about, uh, uh, live action uh, Cassie and Andor series. So this book is probably going to start spiking like crazy. So I was really happy to get it for like three or four dollars. So super stoked about that. So those are the books. Uh, I think I did pretty well for 60 bucks. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Like I said earlier, we love chopping it up with you guys. We appreciate all the comments. Some of them have been really humbling. Uh, just crazy. Some of the stuff that people are writing about us and it's, it's given us the motivation to keep going. So thank you guys. Um, couple announcements. Uh, the next live show is going to be Sunday, August 23rd. And you guys that you know, that's that is going to be the giveaway. The 500 subscriber giveaway is going to be on that day. So how do you enter that contest? Go back a few videos. There is a video that says 500 sub giveaway, and it tells you how to enter this contest. It's very simple. The video is very short. Just watch it. It tells you I show off a few of the prizes. We have two slabs, an ASM 345 an ASM 265, I believe, both slab donated by Universe X from IG. Uh, we have a geek box, which has some cool t-shirts, a pop, some pins. So that's really cool. And then the grand prize we showed off the other night. And I'm about to throw it back to Jay to show you that. But before I do that, just a quick reminder, the friends of this channel, the friends of the show, the supporters of this channel are going to be in the description of this video and every video. Guys, these are channels you want to be subbed up to. Uh, great members of the community. They always give, give good info and they're supporters of the pressable defects. So of course, in return, we are supporters of theirs. So guys, give those those links a click. So uh, Jay, show these, uh, show the defects what the grand prize is about to be for this 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm back again. So all right, guys, if you like this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. We're always going to be pumping out new content now. Um, as far as our giveaway goes, we're having a 500 sub giveaway. Here's our grand prize. It's going to be a nice little Venom lot. What else would you expect from the defects, right? Um, we got a free comic book day, Spider-Man Venom. First appearance of Virus. We have a Venom 25 wraparound cover. Guys, this is in mint condition. It's a hot book right now. You've seen it. So this could be yours as well. What do we got here? Another Venom 25 variant. Dope cover. That's in the pile. Guys, this is all the grand prize. Venom 25 sketch cover. And as you guys know, this is the first cameo of Codex and Virus. We got another Venom 25. Eddie Brock hanging out in the sun. Symbiote uh, umbrella. It's pretty cool. Look what we got here, another Venom 25 variant. So guys, this is all for the grand prize. We got a Venom 25 sketch cover. We got a Venom 11, which is the origin of Dylan Brock. And last but not least, we have a Runes of Ravencroft number one. 
this is Runes of Ravencroft uh, Carnage. It's the first appearance of Cortland Cassidy, who has a big part in this upcoming uh, Kate series. So all that could be yours, guys. Go to that 500 subscriber giveaway video on YouTube. All the directions are in there. Like I said, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification, and pressable defects are out. Anthony and Rob, 1322 Crosby Avenue, BX New York, baby. Come down, get a great discount on any comic book you see. Don't watch pressable defects, don't bother coming.